Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to paint several different types of trees which will help to enhance the overall quality of your finished paintings. I'm going to start off with um, a solid oak tree. I'm just going to make a quick sketch for you to hopefully follow. And take it along here, and that would about do. And we'll put the, the thick trunk in about here. Right, so I uh, need to get our green colour mixed up. Some old favourite again, cadmium yellow. And some Windsor blue, thalo blue colour. Gives you that super green. So let's get that in to start with. So in this instance I'm going to paint the foliage first. Got the brush on its side. And I'm just uh, dragging it across the paper. As, as I mentioned, it's a fairly solid tree, this, not much um, gaps in it. But I'm going to leave one or two little bits just to suggest I like to see the branches coming through. But um, not much down here, usually up the top area. So I'll just quickly finish this bit. And um, that would about do. Now what I'm going to do before that dries is mix up a, a darker green. I'm going to get some brown. Put that in there. Some of that blue again. And get a nice really strong dark green which I'm going to put over here suggesting the lights coming in from the left and you can see that's really strong dark but that's what we need to get some contrast in the painting uh, put one or two bits up here couple of bits there, one or two bits there, that'll do. Now, I'm going to paint the um, trunk, get that in quickly, uh, just a dark brown colour. So I'll start down here and put that in. And uh, I'm just going to soften that off a bit. You should do this when you're um, doing the tree. Just put some water green there, just paint to make the tree settle in. It's not sitting on top of the ground, it's in the ground. Right, um, just going to use the rigger now to. Add some bits of branches, there won't be many. That's probably going to be about it, maybe one or two up here. Because as I mentioned it's a fairly thick solid tree. That'll do. Right. Just going to soften these bits off. These dark bits. Just get some water and rub it against the, the dark bits. 
and that would about do. Just going to drop our two little bits in. Right, that's that finished. The next tree I'm going to paint is what I would call a common tree. It's um, fairly common throughout. Um, it's a tall, thinner tree, and I'm going to draw a, a trunk up here just to let you see the general shape. I'm going to take it straight up just to get a feel for the shape of it. Then there'll be branches coming out here. Some coming out there up to the, the top. So in this one there will be um, a lot more space than amongst the, the branches. So similar to what I did the last time, I'm just going to mix up a, a light green colour to get started. Like so, and just going to drop bits and pieces in, but I'm not going to um, fill it all in like this one. There's going to be gaps on the end of these uh, branches. You can see that I'm just um, dabbing them, just gently filling in some of the, the foliage where the branches will be out here. And again, this is, as you'll see, a very dry brush effect. It's not a big, thick wash of paint. Right. Now again, I'm just going to use that dark brown colour that I had for the, the last one. I'm going to put the trunk in now. So start at the bottom and work my way up. And again, I'm just going to do that before I forget. Just add a little bit of water and some green paint and it... Um, Again, it suggests that the, the tree is in the ground. Right, let's get uh, these other branches in now. So, carry on with this up here, the centre. That has to keep growing up there. But, um, just going to add some of the branches out to the side now. Here for this one. Take it up through the centre. As you can see, the branches are getting thinner as we, we go up the way. Just going to put one across here. And one up here. Coming through into these ones, and there we are. Right. I just um, add one or two little bits of foliage just to. Give it a bit more weight, take one up there and um, that one up through there. So just get that brush again with the, the green and put a bit more foliage in there and a little bit in here. Right, so again, just before I finish, I'm just going to add some uh, darker green 
to the bits. I'm going to keep the light coming this way so I'll have some slightly darker bits over on the, um, the right hand side. Use some of these bits. Right. Right, that'll do. Down on the bottom here, I'm going to show you how to paint a, a cypress tree. You'll notice that um, I've been doing quite a few scenes of Tuscany, um, and these trees are excellent when you're doing a nice scene. So, um, it's a very pointed tree as you'll see, so I'm just going to make a, a quick sketch about this size. To be honest, you don't really need a sketch for this one, but just in case you, you feel you could need it, so I've put one in there. And again, I'm just going to mix up a green and I'm going to, there's two ways you can do this. You could start at the bottom and work your way up. Or start at the top and work your way down. I'm just going to carry on at the top here. But um, both are, are equally good. So see how you get on. Um, and as you see it starts to get um, a little bit wider as we get to the bottom. And I'm just going to stop it about there. Right, there we are. Now, um, I'll just continue with the light coming in from the left hand side here. So it will be a lot darker on the, the other side. So I'm Putting this dark green in while the, the paint for the lighter green is still wet and uh, you get that super effect. And I'm just going to leave it like that. Um, a lot of the time you can see a, a bit of a trunk so I'm just going to put that in. And again, just get some uh, green paint and fix it into the, the ground. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paint another one, just a smaller one. Um, a lot of them seem to be the same size, I've obviously planned it like that, but what I would suggest you, when you're doing your paintings, um, Make, make vary them. Make another one beside it about this kind of size. And um, just take it down to about the same part of the ground. Get the dark green again on the right hand side. While that's still wet. Take that down a bit let you see it. And uh, get the brown again. Just paint that into the ground. Right, so there we are. What you can do is, um, when they're dry, you can get your rigger and just um, give it some bits of detail if you wanted. That would be that would be sufficient how it is. But um, say you wanted to just carry on over there to show the shape of these things, the tightness of the a tree. That'll 
bits like that. Right. So as I say, you don't have to do that, but um, it's an option. The last tree that I'm going to paint in here for you is um, basically this tree here. Um, but in the winter, with all the foliage off, and just the trunk and the branches. Quite handy when you're at this time of the year when you're painting um, landscapes and um, there's trees um, round about the cottages or the barn or whatever. So I'm just going to show you how to paint one of these. So again I'll just start with the trunk in the centre going right to the top and then we'll have branches coming out like so and uh, one or two out here and that will be about it. So there will be no greens here, this will be mainly uh, browns. So what I want to do first is um, just mix up a, a brown colour. I'm just going to show you this down here. But again, this is going to be almost a dry brush stroke. So I've got my towel and I'm taking off most of the paint because I want to start up here and just drag it like so. There you can see that's, that's about all we need. Right. Now, I'm going to get the rigger out and um, start at the bottom. Paint the trunk in from here. Going up. And again, I'm just going to put some green down here to um, settle that into the grass. Don't want it sitting on the top. Right. So I'm going to get the rigger to um, finish off the the branches. I'm just going to put one out there. Now these are all very thin lines, very fine lines coming up here. Again up here. That's when we get over to these bits that you really just want to have fine, fine strokes. So you can see the really very thin all the way up. Just taking this to the top now. Right, I'm going to do the other side now. I'll put one in here. One about there. And one up here into this bit. And again, this is so fine, I'm just rubbing it against my towel again. I just want very thin lines, you can hardly see these. But when you see them all together, it looks quite effective. Right. So 
not too bad. Just let me take one out there and push it up a bit. Right, I'll do. Now, um, if the light's coming from the See on this side, I'm just going to darken that a bit. There we are, I'll do. And I can just do it a little bit more. Um, yeah. Just catch that again. So you can see how delicate that is. But um, that looks very, very effective, I can assure you, in um, some spring scenes. So there we are, a common tree in the winter or springtime. So here's the finished trees. What I would suggest you do is um, try one at a time. Um, you might want to tackle the, the big oak tree or the, com the common tree, the one on the right at the top. That's a good tree to, to introduce into some of your paintings. Um, it just gives them that little bit extra. Uh, here's a, an example of a painting. You'll see I've added a tree and uh, what a difference it makes to the, the finished painting. There's actually another coming up very shortly. Uh, video for the members, the beginners membership, and it's about adding trees, so keep watching for that. If you liked the video, please click the like button, stay safe, and keep painting.